Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a tropical version of a martini. It's called a Hawaiian martini. And very much like James Bond would say, it's shaken, not stirred. So to make this happen, grab your shaking glass, and we're going to start with a little bit of vodka. Now I'm using Devil's Keep Vodka, that's from the East Coast. And we're going to give you one ounce, which works out to 30 mils. And for all of you martini purists out here, this is the beginnings of a vodka martini, but this is where it completely goes off the rails and does something totally different. So we're going to use a little bit of Malibu coconut, which nobody in their right mind would ever put in a martini. And we'll use the same amount of one ounce or 30 milliliters. The next question you're gonna be asking yourself is, can we make this a dainty style of cocktail? It's already gone off the rails really badly, but we're gonna to continue to go off the train tracks, you know, with some triple sec. And we're going to use half an ounce, which will give us 15 mils to give us those orange notes. And like a train crash happening in slow motion, you can't have a tropical drink without some pineapple juice. And we're going to use some Del Monte pineapple juice. It's what I've got on the shelf. We're going to use one ounce, which works out to 30 milliliters. And this looks like it's gonna be a fantastic looking martini. <clears throat> uh, martini that's not a martini, that's a martini or something like that. So what we wanna do now is we wanna fill this with some ice. And we're going to shake this for a good 10 seconds to chill it out and give us the amount of dilution that we need. So make sure when you slap your uh, lid on here, you get a good seal, give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand Hawaiian pineapples. Put that off to the side and grab yourself a martini glass. We're gonna do this in a nice up style, but what you wanna do is make sure that you filter out any of the pulp or ice crystals. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Now what you're going to do to finish this off, and this step is optional, Grab yourself some maraschino cherries, the nice bright red ones that you would see bakers use, and you wanna grab three of them and just drop it in like so. Look at that, and you even get a line of red just at the bottom from the cherry juice. Gorgeous to look at, let's try it out. So immediately I get a little bit of coconut, a little bit of pineapple. Mm, really good. You've got that coconut there that's just a subtle hint. The same with the pineapple. The vodka is there, but it all blends together really, really well. If you would like a little bit more pineapple or a little bit less coconut, lower the amount of coconut rum down, add a little bit more pineapple juice or use a pineapple vodka. If you like this style of drink, take a look right here.